Welcome back to Timberborn. So, last time we were waiting for resources. Which was basically, we had no steel, we had no gears, we had no... Nothing that requires steel or gears either. So... While I waited, I made a few decisions, basically getting two more gear workshops and yeah I completed this and I also added this and this and since we were out of everything except planks I expanded everything except planks, so now we're out of planks instead. So I built this. And we are still out of planks. But these are fairly newly built. I figured it was time for a recap for... Otherwise the colony is gonna be done before, before I do the next video, I guess. So, but I see another problem, and that is we're going to be out of logs fairly soon also. Which is also not ideal. So I'm going to set up a new place for logs, which... Might not be as easy as it sounds, but I had an idea about doing one over here and maybe do another another dam piece in here. But I don't know why. These are not getting taken down. Probably because they have something better to do. Same with this, I guess. <coughs> but. So the power network. At night. We are actually producing a lot. Also, thought is out of energy. That is a major drawback with the iron teeth. And one of the major drawbacks is now I built this double wide. Because earlier they all just stood around here and wait for the first one to get done. And the second one would get done, and the third one would get done, and so on and so forth. And they still waited for the first one. And instead of immediately going into the second slot, they kind of waited around for the f first one to get done. But more charging stations seems to have solved that issue. It's something to be aware of. Um, I've also laid the foundation for a power line out here. To get more charging stations closer to the mine. Since it's a lot of hassle for them to go all the way with low energy back here to the ch to charge. Also thinking about setting up a dedicated charging station here that is on its own separate network with only enough for only enough power for the charging stations and nothing else. 
Alright, let's actually do that. <coughs> so, we're gonna need an engine. Don't have much space here, do, do I? Well, I want it to be... Close enough, I guess. Let's put a path. Well, that's gonna look very stupid. This might look even more stupid, but it's going to serve a better purpose with the wetness thing. And I want to be able to actually go around here eventually someday okay, let's set up the charging stations first Five, that's what, 50 HP, 400, that's what, eight? Six, seven, eight. All right, so that should do it. Still gonna need one more stairs here. Something like this. That piece is done, so the rest can be done whenever. Well, we're starting to get back the planks, but now we don't have any Any wood. Get rid of these. Can't do a path of the, over them anyway. Probably shouldn't get a path over them regardless, but. Forester covers the whole island. Yep. All right. And then the grindstone. Uh, 
Now we're basically going to plant everything. And put up some cutting areas. And I do know that they said that the... The patch notes that the uh, selecting larger areas with cutting isn't gonna lag out the game, but I still want to be effective with it. Because it had an impact before, it might still have an impact, just not as much, so. I mean, everything here is cut. Half of this is cut, half of this is cut. Oh, yeah. And I think... We might just wait a bit for this. Alright, I need to actually do the paths too. I mean, I got five bots without energy right now, and half the charging stations are full. We're doing okay-ish for power, I guess. We're breaking even, just about. Also set up this where a beaver will work, so there's always power. And I got one more over here. Can I actually see frequent frequency? That's too too long ago, but Anyway, so logs are dangerously low. But planks are actually getting up there. So I guess we should plan ahead. And I wanted to make a big reserve reservoir here. I don't know how, but how this I feel about that, but I probably want to make that even higher. Like wall off the whole bloody map.
could actually fill it up to the brim. This is a lot of logs. Lots and lots and lots of logs. If and when I do this, it's going to help a lot with it's going to be way easier to make canals and of further down the line All right so that one's higher All right so we need some access we should probably high prioritize this one Actually, those could be kept at normal. Alright, so getting up to there. I mean, the biggest place we can actually do anything is right here. Let's clear this area. And high priority, priority to Until then, I guess we're building a staircase. And the easiest way to do a staircase is this way. Well, there are easier ways to do it, but I like to use this design because that gives you access on both sides if you want to build something on the outskirts of everything. That's redundant.
This is going to take forever to build. Oh, I should be clearing that out soon enough, and logs are starting to... Oh, it's holding. Oh, let's have one. Doesn't really matter. carrying logs anyway. But the planks have caught up. And the logs are not empty, but they're not plentiful either. Probably need to expand some farmlands sometime soon too. <coughs> Got many injured beaver, beavers, that's probably from here. Could actually replace them with bots. Then we need even more power since it's going to be producing constantly. I mean, we're full on dand dandelions and yeah. So. Squeezing in another medicine maker might be the best choice here. And this is not far from the storage, so might as well do that. They've started planning and they've started building. That's perfect. <coughs> and this area is cleared. Now then, demolish all the paths. Yes. And the way we want to do this is we want to make sure that. Something like that. And we always want, want to make sure that wet water can pass through. made that a little bit too tight but 
if I want to make sure more industry is coming. But we'll figure it out. Make sure that they can reach everything. Many paths to take wherever you're going. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. We need more logs though. Can I expand somewhere? Not really. I can't. I'm just gonna have to wait again. Should probably make a dam over here too. I need to make a dam over here. Probably get away with making a staircase up, damming this part off, and this part. Oh no, oh, we're gonna have to make a dam over there too. Make a very big reserv reservoir. Well, once that's finished, we can relocate where we want to want the water to go. It's probably going to leak in here either way. So, there's no, no real da danger. Probably want a mine eventually, but yeah. anyway, we're fine on power for once. But we are paying with logs. Stay on, stay ahead. And until this is done, that's just gonna be the reality. It's also gonna take a lot of logs. Parking these, they can actually reach. Yeah, they can. Is that not marked? Yes, it is. All right. I just haven't needed it yet. Can I improve somewhere? Improve something specific? Bears are fine. <coughs> Could do some roads up here and use use this or this, but oh, 
Oh, all right. You know what? Let's actually do that. Get this removed, connect these paths. Come on, you can do it. What's the center of that? It's about here. Actually, we should do it like this. And remove that and put it just about here. That's gonna take a while too, but secondary planning area should be or any I mean a fifth planning area should be coming along. Did I fix the... Oh, yeah, alright. Let's make sure they do these first. That one second. And this one. The only way they can get stuck if if this wall gets them on this side. So let's make sure that can't happen. Let's drag a path following this. Until we get to there. Now they can't get stuck if they follow their priorities, or at least not stuck for long. So yeah. And we're in the drought. Which means our power is going to stop 
And our gravity batteries are going to be <coughs> working. So eight beavers are injured. Well, we're taking it back. I know the planning area for dandelions isn't that big, so... Oh, I actually need to put down the... Charging stations for them to work. These are up and running though. So that should be working out soon enough. Got 38 bots with nothing to do. Might need another hauling post. Oh, well, we want it close to the... Well, close to here, essentially. There's a power shaft going through there. Post, there we go. Populate it with bots. Probably do one more since we have 39 of them. 40 that aren't doing anything. Since this is also fairly close. Actually, I prioritize that. And that. That's going to help immensely. And they're already done with that one. And I've started this, right? That means that we have to up the priority on this one. Otherwise they will try to build the wall first, but we need this planning area. Otherwise we're kind of screwed. So yeah, but the district limits, this is still only one district. But as I had the, well, if we go back a few episodes, when I had this, and going all the way around this area, it's 
started to get inefficient and I added these to help with that. So you have to actually think about how you plan it if you want to do a big district. I actually want, need to make sure the power line gets built. But these three, I don't think they can build it from below there. That's why I have the stairs on the side temporarily. I have to build one of them at a time. These should also be high prioritized. Otherwise they might not build that one <laughs> until everything else is done. Which wouldn't be wouldn't be perfect. Why is this one empty? Well, it was probably out getting charged, yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. So, anyway. If we do a forester down here, he can reach everything, yep. And the lumberjack, same thing. Second lumberjack, yep, alright. Take grindstone, there. And I guess we are planting lots and lots of oaks. And I'm thinking that we should be grabbing a pump up here just to make sure that we get uh, as much water as we can as quick as we can. Otherwise, this is going to take quite a while until it's actually done. We're also running out of beavers, so let's get more. That's not done yet. Probably have built some of these things. Let's get some I even 
have a place where I can put this. But they're always passing. Well, I can most easily do it. I guess there. And there. <coughs> it's going to give us, give the majority of our beavers something nice to look at at least. There is a few huts in here though. We could actually just do it like this. Get those two out and those two out. And at the other end, they're coming out here. Let's get a shrub over here. And a statue there. And the shrub. Alright. Monuments. Unlock everything. Not enough science. Okay. Our connection is blocked. How big is this? like to know So if we build it there, that's fine. I'll build that one first. One for each. I still want to be able to pass through here later. So that should cover it. This does, does not cover it. Right. That does, however, however. If we can, we can reach it, I think they should be able to reach it from the from the diagonal there. Those are flooded. We know this one's done.
Power's coming back. And we are above half. That's actually very good. <coughs> More than I expected. I did go hay haywire with trying to solve the power pro problem, of course. There's no engineering like over engineering. Now they shouldn't need to. Need the stairs anymore, maybe for that one. Since that's built, I can delete the stairs basically. Yeah, we got 11 logs, 13. Yeah. Everything filled, which is the one, the other one. There we go. Make sure that our carry, carrying capacity is always used. Well, might as well get that one done. It is going to help. I was planning on doing replacing these with these but I kind of built on top of it so it's yeah uh, it's quite a hassle to replace them so that's why we're engineering around it, I guess. <coughs> and the flame is up. What does that give? Doesn't say what it gives, but yeah. You then. Working speed, 100. Oh, okay. So it doesn't give specific bonuses anymore. Actually gets simpler, but you like the way what it was before. Certain things giving certain certain bonuses. Switch that out too, and that. Did we? No, we didn't. Cut trees. As soon as they pop up, cutting them down. Be fine. Now we just need to wait for logs. The resources in this game is a little bit, uh, a little cat and mousy. Always playing catch up when you expand one thing, then another thing becomes a problem, or the earlier earlier parts of the chain becomes a, a problem. 
So, anyway, I guess that's it. Um, I've actually automated this. That should be filled as soon as it's actually doable. This one's going to take quite a while. Probably need another planning area even. Don't know where that would be. Maybe I could, could dam off a piece here. actually a good idea Something like this, maybe. Expanding our forestry business. I may be overdoing this, but I do think I think it's very, very fun to, to over-engineer stuff. I don't know if, if you've seen my other playthroughs of other similar type games, I do tend to I'll make sure that there's not going to be a shortage. this way way more efficient I'm gonna be able to use the extra space up there regardless one tree but we save what five levies five times 12 that's what 60 ish by doing it that way
So we're gonna high prioritize the entrances. that we can get up and down easy and I guess we should be actually we shouldn't we should let them finish that one first so Forrester how much can you reach everything yes everything You can reach everything except the one down there. You can reach everything. Alright. That's what, three, three high? Yeah, three high. And another pump that we can remove later. Alright. And cut trees. them trees there we go so as soon as that is done those two are done we should have our log prior, log problem sorted And these guys don't have any logs, so that's why the planks are going down. Most of the plank heavy stuff are actually built though, except some of the platforms for the pumps. So that shouldn't be an issue. So as soon as we get, not, don't have any more storage, then the tree cutting business is going to flourish a little bit better. So. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Yeah, so we got those two big projects, some small improvements, and well, this wall. Maybe, just maybe, we put some drills here and drill out this, making it even more hollow and then make our water production there. Maybe, just maybe. All oh, right, before we go, that's monument.
but it's fairly large and the area is fairly large too if we put it there every beaver has to walk through one of the paths that lead to whatever they're wherever they're going even if they live over here we just need to power it there is an easy solution for that I hope If we just do that real quick. Three and one. Three. Two. And two. That one also needs to be a two and a one. I also need to cut those three down. So we need to do stairs since they can't build. We might just do stairs. Let's make sure that they can reach. I think they can reach it. And then we just tear down one stair and put in power, tear down, put in power, tear down, put in power, and connect it. Yeah, that should be doable. In due time, we need to actually make that first. Four hundred gears, hundred treated planks, three hundred metal blocks. I don't think gears are, are, are a problem. Treated planks, not a problem either. It's gonna be the metal blocks. But they are starting to get it going. I mean, we are using quite a lot from these. That one requires metal. That one requires metal. All right. Yeah, well, that should be fine. So we got some things going. Mostly forest string. But, no. Yeah. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next one.